it's Melanie. Welcome to my channel. Today starts my 7 and 7 readathon reading vlog, so stay tuned. So it is like 11.45 p.m. on Sunday, July 22nd, and in 15 minutes, the 7 and 7 readathon begins. <sighs> Let's see if I can do this. So I guess before that readathon starts, I should go ahead and tell you what I have managed to read today. So Marty and I had a little bit of running around today and we continued listening to the audiobook of Watchers by Dean Coots and we are currently on page 127. So right there, about, I don't know, a quarter to a third, something like that. And then tonight, since Xander is home, we started reading together again. And we just read the first 10 pages in Grump, The Fairly True Tale of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves by Lysel Shirtliff. And it sounds super cute already. And hopefully we can get a lot more read tomorrow. We just didn't really get a lot of time tonight. And I have some fun haul kind of things to show you. So this morning before Marty's parents and my niece left to go back home, we all went out to Cracker Barrel for breakfast and I got these super cute little like mason jar mugs that have like a, they look like pineapples. And then inside of them, they have these little pineapple gummies and they're so cute and they're quite good too. But I just thought those were adorable. And they were like 25% off, so they really weren't too bad. And then they had like all of their Thanksgiving, fall things starting to come out. And I got this cute little candy corn candle. And it smells just like candy corn. And I thought it'd be cute on my shelf or in some bookstagram pictures. And then later in the day, we went to Walmart because we needed to pick up, well, a bunch of different stuff. And when we were there, I kind of impulse shopped and bought a couple of fun little things that I thought I would show you. So the first thing was this LED neon light that says lit. And well, I just thought it was very punny because, I mean, for one, when you plug it in, it's lit. <laughs> and I'm going to put it back here with my lit. <laughs> yeah, I'm a dork. I know. And then apparently today was the day that I bought cups and glasses. I don't know why. I just did. I actually have three more cups slash glasses to show you that I bought today. So the first one is this really cute tumbler that says, yes. It's for the tea, sis. <laughs> and what actually drew my attention to where these things were was this one coffee cup that I happened to see as I was walking past the aisle. And I like stopped in my tracks and I had to turn around and go back and look. And it was this big mug that says, Ugh, as if. And I knew exactly what it was from as soon as I saw it. But yes, it's from Clueless. And I love Clueless. So much. <laughs> and right next to the clueless mug was this super cute Alice in Wonderland teardrop glass. And it has the Cheshire cat on it. But it also has like lines from the book. I don't know if you can see that in the picture. Okay, so I'm going to put some paper in here so that you might actually be able to see the words. Yeah, it has lines from the story on it. Anyway, I thought it was very cute. It's a lot bigger than I actually thought it was. Okay, so those are my haulish things for today. So it is only five minutes until the 7 and 7 readathon begins. So I'm going to get off here and I'm going to read for a little while before I go to bed. So I will check in with you tomorrow. So quick little morning update. It's like 9.30 in the morning on the 23rd. 
Last night I started reading Trap Jam by Stephen Barwin. Well, after midnight, so it was technically today. And I got to page 32. I only read just a little while. But now Xander and I are about to head to the gym. So I'll check in with you later. So it is currently 1.38 p.m. and Xander and I finished at the gym, did a little bit of grocery shopping, then came home, had some lunch, and got showered. And now I'm about to work on editing my reading vlog for last week because, well, that's got to go up tomorrow. And it's a lot of footage. So I probably won't get to doing any reading until maybe later this evening. But I have every intention of reading. So I guess I will just check in with you in a few hours. It is currently 9.48 in the morning on Tuesday, July 24th. And, well, yesterday I kind of failed at vlogging, I kind of failed at reading, I kind of failed at the 7 and 7. <laughs> I was just so ridiculously busy and I had so many different things going on that I just couldn't get everything done. I just couldn't. And one of the things that I was busy doing was planning some readathons with fellow booktubers which is going to be so much fun. I have like a week long thing planned and another bigger more long term thing planned and I'm so excited about you know getting all the details worked out and getting that information to you guys. So excited about that. But I spent so long working on those things that I didn't spend enough time working on editing my reading vlog. So it didn't go up on time when it was supposed to go up today. Normally I try to do my videos every other day posting at 9 a.m. But today, well, I didn't have my thumbnail or anything done and I didn't do that until this morning. I got everything rendered last night so that this morning I could get up and finish getting it uploaded and all of that stuff, which I did, and it's only going to post an hour later than it's supposed to, but oh my goodness, it's a long video. It's like 42 minutes long or something like that, but there were two and a half hours of footage, <laughs> so I can condense that two and a half hours into 42 minutes, so that's not bad, I don't think. As far as reading goes... As I said before, I had read a little bit of Trap Jam and got to page 32. I didn't read any more of that. And last night, Xander and I did read some more of Grump by Lysel Shirtliff. And this is a really cute story so far. We're currently on page 39 of this. So just right there. Right now, it's pretty much just the childhood of Grumpy and his, like, desire to go to the surface instead of living in the caves and caverns below. He wants to meet the humans and and he's always trying to escape to go meet the humans and he doesn't want to be on a mining crew or he doesn't want to live his life underground and that's pretty much all we've gotten as far as the story goes but it's super cute and we're enjoying it. Now Xander and I are going to get ready and go to the gym for a little while. I know I didn't vlog any of the gym yesterday, but it was Xander's first time at the gym and I was busy trying to show him how to use things, which will probably be a, a lot of how today is too. So I don't know if I'm going to vlog that, though he told me I should. <laughs> he told me I should vlog us at the gym. So I don't know. We'll see. But I actually don't have a lot planned to do today. I rearranged stuff so that I wasn't going to be quite as busy this week so that I have more time to do the reading because I really, 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 really want to succeed at reading my seven books in seven days. So I'm really going to try. So I'm focusing a lot more on reading today. But I guess for now I should go and get to the gym so I can get back here and shower and read and all of that good stuff. So I will check with you later.
currently 11.50 p.m. on the 24th, and I have done so well with reading today. I feel like I successfully made up for my failures from yesterday. So, I completed reading Trap Jam today by Stephen Barwin, and I gave this three stars. It was good, and I think because it was just so short that it felt almost like more of a bare bones to the story or just a part of a story and not the whole book you know what I mean but it wasn't bad it was well written and I enjoyed reading it and I did get through it pretty quickly next I read Yolo Juliet by William Shakespeare and Brett Wright and I love all of these books like this they're so much fun to read they're highly entertaining they're super quick they make understanding Shakespeare much easier and I you know I give all of these five stars just because I enjoy them so much but as far as the Romeo and Juliet story I'm finding I'm not as much of a fan of that story as a grown-up versus when I was a teenager back then I thought it was this great love story and I just I loved it so much but as a grown-up I'm seeing Juliet as your typical love-struck teenager that is just head over heels and is dreaming of her wedding day and all of these other things and that was totally me at that age. <laughs> but Romeo is just kind of obsessive and I don't think he's really all there plus he is a grown man and Juliet's like 14 enough said but yes I gave this five stars just because I really love this whole not really retelling but reformatting of these Shakespeare stories and then also tonight Xander and I continued reading Grump by Lysol Shirtliff and I'm currently on page 59 of this and then after Xander went off to bed, I started reading The Face on the Milk Carton by Carolyn B. Cooney. And I am currently on page 102, so I'm like halfway through that, so not too bad. I may stay up a little bit longer and continue to read more, but I'm not sure. Just because I do need to get to sleep. <laughs> it's almost midnight. But I also have here my fall Walmart beauty box. And if you don't know what this is, it's, well, it's a quarterly box. It literally is only $5. They say the box is actually free and it's just $5 shipping. But it comes with different beauty products from Walmart. And they come in like sample sizes or travel sizes. And sometimes you even get full sizes in there. And... I mean, to me, personally, it's worth the $5. Plus, these things are always great for traveling because they're small. So inside, it looks like this. And the theme is Embrace Your Beauty. So we open it up. And it looks like that. So let's see what we have inside here. So we have some Soft Soap Earth Blends Moisturizing Body Wash paraben free, alcohol free, dye free, coconut and fig. It smells nice. Looks like this. Then we have Aveeno Active Naturals Daily Moisturizing Lotion Sheer Hydration. A little one ounce bottle. Then we have a Garnier Skin Active Three-in-one moisturizer, day slash night mask, made with rose water, made without mineral oil, parabens, silicones, or dyes. Then we have some little leaflets, um, some Garnier Fructis damage repairing treat, one-minute hair mask plus papaya extract. Cool. And just another little flyer. I think that's on, about the Garnier stuff. And another flyer about the soft soap. And we have a pack of Kleenex Wet Wipes. Gentle Clean. 
Little eight white pack. And some Garnier Whole Blends Gentle Shampoo and Gentle Conditioner. Cool. Some big foil packs here. And that is all that's in this box. So I think I'm just going to go and read for a couple more minutes and then go to sleep. So I will talk to you tomorrow. So it is currently 1.30 on Wednesday, July 25th. And I haven't really done much this morning. I've taken a shower and watched some YouTube. And I'm getting ready to have some lunch. And then I'm going to do my hair and my makeup and do some filming. But first I wanted to give you a little update on what I did manage to read last night. Because I ended up staying up until like 2 and continued reading. So I got to page... 137 of this so I don't have a huge amount left I think there's only 184 pages so not too bad and I think after I finish that I'm going to start my heart and other black holes by Jasmine Warga and hopefully I can get both of those knocked out today I don't know if that's going to happen but we'll see also just a little while ago the mail ran and I got some book mail to show you. So I ordered both of these from Amazon but they came from I guess different places so they're in two different packages. I am so excited about these. So I ordered the Buffy the Vampire Slayer Omnibus Season 8 Volume 1 and Volume 2. These things are huge. I was not expecting them to be so large, but they are like the graphic novels. They're like that big. There's like 587 pages in this one. And, oh gosh, they're so heavy too. Let's see, there's it's like 582 pages in the other one. They are large and so heavy. Like, I don't know how heavy these are, but I would guess a good five pounds each. Easy. But I cannot wait to read these. I'm so excited about them. Now, this one I'm actually quite disappointed in because I ordered it new, not used or anything, and it came like scraped up on the front and on the spine here. And it's not just part of the, it's not supposed to look like that. And yeah, I'm kind of disappointed in that because they're supposed to be brand new from Amazon. But I'm still super happy to have them. So I'm going to go and have some lunch and then film and I will check in with you later. I just finished this book. Oh my gosh. It's so good. Oh, I just had to go and order the rest of the books in the series because it's so good. So... I do recall a movie that was made based on this, but it was different. And Janie in the movie, and I don't know if that was her name in the movie, but the character Janie from the book in the movie was a young adult and living on her own and saw her like a sketch or something of herself that came up on a hang on TV or something like help us find these children or whatever but in here she is a 15 year old girl and one day at lunch she sees this little girl on a milk carton and she recognizes the dress and and the hair and she starts having memories that I guess she's just forgotten about because she was three and a half years old when she disappeared. And then once she saw this picture, it was just like all of the memories started coming back in little chunks. And she is like dealing with this fact that, oh my gosh, my parents have kidnapped me or something's happened. And she's trying to figure it all out. And oh my gosh, it's so good. I cannot wait to read the next one, which is... Whatever happened to Janie. <sighs> I give this book five stars. Totally. So good. 
I think I said that like 15 times. Okay, um, I know I said that I was going to read My Heart and Other Black Holes next, but I think instead I may read The Crucible next and start that now because it's only like 9.40 and I have a little while before I have to go to bed. So I will check back in with you before I go to bed. So it is 9.36 on July 26th and I didn't read a huge amount of The Crucible last night but I did manage to get to page 36 and then I got distracted and started watching YouTube. <laughs> so I'm hopefully going to finish this today and I'll probably start on push next I think. I don't know. We'll see. Well, I am about to go to the gym and get a workout in, and then I'll come back home and get to reading. Alright. I will talk to you later. like 11 30 and I am exhausted I don't know why I'm so tired but oh I did manage to finish the crucible today it took longer than I expected and it was good I enjoyed it I think I give it a three there's some show that I watched on Netflix and it was based on these Salem witch trials and stuff and there was a lot of the same characters the same names in it I really enjoyed that show also tonight Xander and I continued reading Grump and we are currently on page 78 of this so making a little dent in it and well that's really all I have read today I'm a uh, four books down at the end of my fourth day so I'm still on track. I still have three more to go. Hopefully I can get a good chunk done tomorrow. I don't know. We have a meeting with a trainer tomorrow and it's one of those things it's like included. Well, you get one time with the trainer when you sign up so we're going to meet with the trainer tomorrow at like 10 o'clock in the morning so I'm going to go to bed. I'll talk to you tomorrow. p.m. on Friday July 27th and we did a lot of running around today we did the gym we got a car inspected um, for emissions so that we could get our tags renewed we did grocery shopping I went to the post office so that I could mail out uh, the package for my giveaway winner off of Instagram and yeah it's just been a very busy day so I didn't actually get a lot of reading done I'm currently only on page 36 of Push by Sapphire. Oh, and I also started editing my Newt's Readathon TBR, which I forgot that isn't finished, so I have to finish editing that. Oh, uh, so much. But we just got home and got dinner going and took a shower, and we're about to sit and have some dinner and 
at eight o'clock starts a 24 hour readathon. So I'm actually going to end this vlog here and make it a two part one because if I try to vlog a 24 hour readathon in this as well, this video is going to be way too long. So I'm thinking I'm going to cut this here and vlog the rest of this readathon separate. So it'll be a part one and a part two. And I'll probably end up doing the same kind of thing with my book tubeathon, but I don't know. Because I know I'm also going to be doing at least one readathon during that as well. So we'll see how that all goes. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, remember to always be completely you.